some pumpkins today, Sarah Jean? Oh yes, I can't wait. All right, today we're gonna do some super simple watercolor ink um, pumpkins um, that you guys can at home could use for holiday cards or um, even like uh, place settings. What are those called? Name tags. Oh table. yeah, that would be so cute. I used to love making those with my grandmother. Me too. <laughs> We did pine cones and we would put ginkgo leaves in the pine cones to make like little turkeys for Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. I didn't so get you that can do clever. watercolor pumpkins or y'all can do pine cones and leaves or whatever you want to do for your tables. Um, but these could be Halloween cards or just fun activities with your family. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pray for us and pray for the... Um, just being grateful for our change in season and our new weather and our new season in life. So... Um, bow your heads. Um, dear Jesus, thank you so much for today and for the leaves that are falling, falling and for the way that you work all the things together in um, the water and the skies and the sun and the temperature to change these leaves into these beautiful colors and uh, um, for just this breath of fresh air that creates uh, renewed energy and renewed um, strengthen all of us lord i pray that you would give us that um, renewed joy and strength as we walk into this fall season um we thank you we praise you in jesus name amen amen right. so today we're going to be using i'm going to be using uh their acrylic inks have you ever used those before i have not but that's i love when you do it okay um so it's an <laughs> acrylic ink and just water so it's a super simple i'm going to go through a few different um, ways that you can Work with it okay, okay so here are the watercolor or the acrylic inks so i've got some orange and kind of the brown orange yellow i've got a white i've got some green out so we could do some green too if we wanted to um so this is nice cold pressed watercolor paper here um you could use any kind of watercolor paper so what i'm going to do is use a really thick paintbrush and just with water, just water on it, I'm gonna draw my pumpkin. So I hope that y'all can see this on there. If not, you will be able to see it when I add the ink. So to make your pumpkin with water, you're just kind of doing little brush strokes to make the uh, different parts of the pumpkin. You can add your little stem if you want to. Um, and you can always go back and change this. You're not, uh, locked into your pumpkin at the beginning. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the orange and I'm just gonna kind of draw a line around the water, but let the ink kind of hit the water too. Um, so we can start seeing it move around in the water. The fun thing about the ink is that it moves in the water. Oh, that's fun, Lauren. I love that. So you can see there where I hit a good spot of water. It really moved a lot. So, and then with the white, it's fun to do like for the highlights. So I'm going to do the white up here and hopefully get it to mix a little bit down here. Add maybe a little bit of yellow in the middle. I think it looks pretty fun just the way it is, but um, sky is the limit here, guys. So, and you can kind of move it around if you want to on your paper. See how they mix in different ways. Yes. I'm gonna do one more with just the yellow to show y'all that. Um, and I'm gonna do that on a little different piece of paper. So I have a this watercolor paper, but I folded it like a card. So you could make this into a card. I mean, and you can do the smaller ones for the place settings like that, you know? So again, with the water, this time I'm going to use a little bit more. A little bit more water on the... So I'm just going to use this yellow. I think it's spreading out really nicely. So you can just move it around. And you could let this dry and go back and draw back on top of it if you wanted to. 
this is a fun, easy thing. And this is easy to do with kids. You could even, um, like parents at home, you could paint the water on and let the kids rip the ink or paint. It works just fine with watercolor um, also, just as well. And a little bit of the orange over there. So, um, and I think those will turn out to be really fun little cards and gifts for some grandparents out there. So I agree. I love the, <clears throat> I love watching the water or the ink go, um, yeah. on the water. It's so, oh my gosh, I love that. So this is another one. Um, so you can get the, if, as long as you put the water and the stripes of the pumpkin, the ink is going to kind of look like a pumpkin shape. Um, and I used all three of the orange, yellow, and white on this one but it's still a little bit wet, but it'd be super easy to go back with, you know, you could do a Sharpie and let the kids draw back on top of it. And that would be really cute detail to add. Our little, you know, some of them have the little, little leaf and they have the little, I don't know, what is that? I guess that's just like the stem of the pumpkin you could add. Oh yeah, the little swirlies. <laughs> yeah. So you could add the ribs of the pumpkin to give it some more texture and add the little swirlies with your Sharpie and um, add a little happy Thanksgiving, happy fall on there um, and spread the love, spread the fall cheer. Um, How's yours coming? Mine's coming okay. I'm working on trying to get kind of like a, like a watercolor effect on mine. Ooh, it's kind of weird with the colors because it doesn't always come out. Yeah, I'm just using a paintbrush and one of the watercolor brushes. But the colors don't always, I don't know, they look different. Yeah, I think the there. fun part about this is like the accidental part. If you can't plan what's gonna happen when you add yeah. the, ink to the water. So with the messy medium, you really get to see these fun, happy accidents happen. <laughs> right. Um, that so definitely fun. fun part for me. Um, so that is all for today. I hope to see you guys create some fun pumpkins at home and post your pictures so we can see what y'all make. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Lauren. You are so welcome. Um, see you guys back here soon. All right, see you soon. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> I dropped my phone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>